welcome to the Pioneer House, also known as the Newberry House, here at the Stagecoach Inn Complex in Newberry Park. I'm Stacia Semmel, a docent here at the museum, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, the Pioneer House, which was very typical of the ranch houses built here in the valley when the pioneers came in and started to buy land and settle in the late in the 1870s. It is a wooden house called a plank house. Now this house is a, a reproduction of the Egbert, uh, house that Egbert Newberry built when he moved his family here to the valley. And we know what it looked like because we have a painting that Fanny Newberry did of the house. And of course they wrote to their family back in Michigan and described their house. So come on inside with me. We'll enter the, into the great room. Not very different from your house today. Great rooms were in style back then too. On this side of the room, you have a fireplace for heat. The only heat in the house would have been from the fireplace and the kitchen stove on the opposite end. This fireplace is rather unique as its shape is very unlike the shapes of fireplaces we build today. Do ask your docent why, because there's a very practical reason for building it that way. Now, Edward Newberry bought, uh, was here ranching. He was raising thousands of head of sheep. So he needed an office area to take care of his business. Above the office area, you'll see a framed picture, which is a, uh, an, a photograph of the original Newbe uh, painting that Fanny did of the original house. We do have the original painting. It's hanging in the bedroom upstairs in the uh, uh, inn itself. So please do stop by and see it. And there's a little white tent out there. Hmm, wonder why. Do ask your docent when you come to visit. Now, there are two bedrooms here in the house. The first bedroom is, the, is Fanny and Egbert's bedroom. And they had a little baby. That's little Georgie and he was three months old. So he would have stayed in his cradle in, his, in the room with them. Then we have another bedroom. They had a little boy, three-year-old Bertie. So he had his own room. Had there been more children, they would have all shared that room. Now you'll notice there's no bathroom in the house. Ah, so should there be a need during the nighttime? There was a little bathroom, let's call it that, under the bed. You don't want to go outside to the outhouse without any light and with wild animals out there. Mm -mm. Now, let's take a look at Fanny's kitchen. She's got everything she needs right here, all in view, handy reach. She has her pantry and the stove. It's a cast iron stove that burned coal or wood. Her work at table right there and appliances. But there's something here that has nothing to do with cooking. And that is Egbert's shaving corner. Why would he shave in the kitchen? The hot water is right here on the stove and he would need hot water. Well, now what about laundry? Let's come out here. The laundry was done outside, out on the back porch. Again, you have a roof so you can work to, uh, even in rainy weather to complete your chores. Pots like this, iron pots like this would have held water, would have been heated and hung over an open fire. You know, people like to boil their clothes in those days. And tubs and scrub boards. In fact, if you'd like to know more about laundry back in those days, we have a terrific exhibit in the upstairs uh, rooms of the uh, uh, main building. Be sure and visit that and learn more about it. Let's come on down and move back to the front porch. One more thing I'd like to show you. Here we have a family tree. It's the Caneo family tree. These are the names of the very earliest ranchers and settlers here in the valley when, settle, when land went up for sale in, 1870, in the 1870s. You'll probably recognize many of those names because there are parks and streets named after them.
So to learn more about the, the history here in the valley and these families, do come by and visit us at the Stagecoach Inn Museum. We'll be looking forward to seeing you.